Day 229. In response to the attempt to destroy the Crimean Bridge, which was partially successful, the Russian Federation conducted a massive missile strike with the aim of destroying the Ukrainian energy system. The attack was called Mission Retribution, and the Russians engaged more than 100 cruise missiles and 30 drones. Putin said that the massive strike was inflicted on Ukrainian energy infrastructure facilities, military command posts, and communication centers. In reality, fewer than 30 targets were infrastructure facilities. More than 50 targets apparently were located in the middle of the street, on playgrounds and in residential buildings. Nonetheless, such an extensive missile mission requires a lot of planning and preparation. Ukrainian intelligence reported that the Russians have been preparing for an act of this magnitude since the beginning of October. This indicates that the missile strike might not be a direct response to the explosion on the Crimean bridge, but rather a convenient addition to the inevitable sequence of events. In order to cover the whole territory of Ukraine, the Russians tried to place their rockets and rocket carriers on every possible side. That is why most rockets were launched from the Black Sea, Astrakhan and Belarus. There were three waves of attack. The target of the first wave of attacks became Zaporizhia, Kyiv, Dnipro, Odessa, Mykolaiv, Krvirih, Zhytomyr, Chernihiv, Khmelnytsky, Ternopil, Vinnytsia and Lviv. The northern group of cities was attacked from the Oryol region. Here the Russians used the strategic bombers Su-160 to launch X-101 cruise missiles. One of the rockets fell in the middle of the street in Kyiv, killing multiple people. Another rocket also hit the streets of Kyiv the moment a girl accidentally caught on camera. One rocket also landed on the children's playground and one targeted a pedestrian bridge in the center of the city. The southern group of cities was attacked from the Black Sea. Here the Russians launched caliber rockets from their warships. One of the rockets hit a residential building in Zaporizhia. Two missiles hit the streets of Dnipro, which were caught on camera by the drivers. Moldavian Ministry of Defense reported that Russian rockets entered and crossed their territory, which means that the western group of cities was also hit from the Black Sea. Immediately after all rockets from the first wave reached their targets, the second wave started. The Russians launched more than 40 rockets from Astrakhan and also sent dozens of assault drones from Belarus and Crimea. The explosions were recorded across the whole of Ukraine. As I mentioned at the beginning, Ukrainian critical energy infrastructure facilities were targeted as well. Luckily, the Ukrainians seem to have learned their lesson after the Kharkiv blackout and increased the concentration of air defense in the vicinity of these facilities. Ukrainian general staff reported that 43 rockets and 13 drones were shot down, and judging by the reports, most of them were shot down exactly in the area of energy facilities. Overall, the Russians targeted three thermal power plants in Kyiv, one in Kruvirich, one in Lviv, one in Zhytomyr, and several in Kharkiv, and also substations in Rivne, Khmelnytsky, Ternopil, Konotop, Zhytomyr, and Vinnytsia. As a result, severe consequences suffered Lviv, this is exactly where a lot of rockets actually managed to reach the predetermined destinations. Around 50 non-military buildings, such as residential buildings, offices and school, suffered as well. In the aftermath of this crisis, the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, called French and German leaders and asked for more air defense systems. Given that the German embassy was partially damaged, this was a good pretext for asking for help. The result of their discussion is yet unknown, however, many expect that the density of Ukrainian air defense will definitely increase, to prevent a possible humanitarian catastrophe in the future. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.